All right. Y'all already know what it is, so we're going to get right to it. Now, remember when I kept saying that I think somebody is indeed in this kitchen already behind this wall waiting on Kanika because it looked like they was pulling on her, right? So let me further clarify what I'm saying before I get to my point. I'm going to speed this up so we can get around this corner. Now, when she gets around this corner, when she gets around this corner, I'm going to bring it back because I want y'all to see how normal she was walking at this point. I want y'all to see how normal she was walking at this point. Again, I have a point to make with this. So bear with me. See how normal she's kind of walking at this point? And when she gets around this corner, she notices something. Either she notices a dead end or she noticed that somebody standing there, right? Now, if I want to act as authority, right? And somebody who's in her condition walks around the corner and she sees that I'm standing there, right? Her first reaction is going to be, hey, okay, this is authority. I had no business bike here, right? And so you're kind of going to go along with them grabbing your arm just for a slight second. But you are going to kind of tug when you notice that you are going toward, they're taking you towards a dead end. You notice this is a dead end. Not only you notice it's a dead end by kill, but you notice this is, you know, somebody standing there, right? So they take you and start pulling you towards this dead end. Then you're going to start tugging away, right? Watch. She's tugging away. Okay. So that was my whole theory on this, right? Now, here's the thing. I have the reflection. But first, before I show you that, I want to bring in the footage where the manager was in it. And again, remember I said that manager's shadow and I'm not blaming that manager right now at this point. I'm just letting you know there's similarities somewhere in this point, right? See how his shadow is directly on it? His shadow is directly on the freezer. Do you see that? Okay. I'm trying to be real fast with this and brief with this. Do you see that? Do you see how his shadow is directly on the freezer? We seen when he came in. We seen the way he came in, right? Let's look at it one more time. Let's get him in. Fast forward a little bit to get him in there. We see the direction he's going. We see that he's going directly to the freezer. All right. He didn't do what Kanika did and went around the wall and stumbled a little bit or was tugged on a little bit. And then we wait, we wait, and then we see a shadow appear on the freezer and then the footage cut off. No, 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 no. We know he's going straight to the freezer, right? Look at his shadow. Do you see how heavy his shadow is on that freezer? Now, let's go back to Kanika's footage. Again, I'm clarifying this so I can get to my main point. Let's go back to Kanika's footage. Let's get her back in here. Now again, we have to wait at the point to where her shadow actually hits the freezer. Because right here, she gets tugged that direction. Then all of a sudden... We see a shadow. Now this shadow didn't sit on the freezer like 
the manager's shadow set on the freezer. Because we know the manager is right in front of that door, right? Why didn't Kanika's shadow sit on the freezer just like the manager's? Because she's further away from that door. She's further away from that door. Right? Okay. Now, this lets you know either one or two things. Either she noticed that this was a dead end and she stood right there for a second and looked around or somebody was there tugging on her and something was going on right before the camera cut off. Again, they used the 10 second rule on us. After 10 seconds of the box uh, or, the, or the camera not detecting you, after 10 seconds, the camera cuts off. And that's what they used against us, right? So, I'm gonna hit play on Kanika's footage again. And now, right again, it cuts off and it goes straight to when the guy comes in the corner and kind of looks around. That's eight o'clock later on that date. All right, now, we're gonna watch this one more time. I want you to now pay attention to the time. Now, at 3.32.56, we know there's only four seconds left in that minute, 3.32.56, she disappears. Then, a shadow up here at 3.33.04. It got a little heavier at 3.33.05. Now I'm going to slow it down this time so we can catch it at 3.33.05. Now I'm getting to my main point. Speed it back up. We're going to get it to... 333 even, then we're going to slow it all the way down. All right. Slowing it all the way down. Let's be like just, just a quarter. Three thirty-three oh two. You're going to start seeing the shadow on the freezer. All right. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a snapshot of that area of the freezer and get a snapshot. I'm going to just put the whole floor in there. Just about the whole floor. And bring it in just a little bit. So we're going to get a snapshot of the freezer. And we're going to call it. We're going to call it. And I've done this already before. So you're going to see the name popping up. But we're going to call it freezer shadow uh try to name it something different i'll tell you what we're gonna put the underscores three thirty three uh, okay three thirty three oh four all right Save that. Then 
Then, what we're going to do, we're going to hit play. We're going to wait till you get to 33305. We're going to take another snapshot. Again, I'm going to try to do this. At, ah! Let's try that one more time. Again, we're looking for a 33305. Got me again. And I want to do it this way. I want you to see all my little mistakes. I don't want to, you know, do too much editing, clipping, things like that. Because I want you to see me doing it from raw footage. So there won't be any uh, misunderstandings. Waiting for 3.30, So Well, 3.30, Going to slow it down again. Bring about a quarter. And... Got it. All right. So we're going to take a snapshot of that. Hit new. That's good. That's good. And we're going to call this one. Freezer Shadow 3. We're going to do some underscores so it would be different from the other titles that I've previously did. 333. five all right so we have those two now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the manager away from the freezer so we can also get a snapshot of the freezer with no one near it and I'm doing that so you can get a comparison right so no one won't say, well it, well, it still looks the same way in the footage with the manager. And why didn't you do that one? So I'm doing this one. Snapshot this one as well. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there too. Put a little bit of that box in there. All right, and we'll call this one. Freezer Shadow underscore. Since I previously named one Freezer Shadow Manager already. Underscore Manager. All right. And we're going to exit out of this. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the program that I do my forensics and analysis uh, on, you know, the videos and, and pictures. So we're going to minimize these and go to that program. Alright, and we're going to put
pull up the the the, the still shot from the manager's footage. Try to make this as quick as possible. Did I miss it? Freezer Shadow underscore man. Yeah, that's it. All right. So as that loads up, um, just to let you know, we're getting ready to do a little forensics on the on the um the still shot by uh, using some of the tools within the program and this is a, a program specific for for instance on videos and still shots all right so I'm going to begin with um, shopping in it first right Again, we're shopping. And again, this is the foot, the uh, the still, the still photo of the footage with the manager in it. Some put some sharpening in it. Put some um, video contrast in it. All right, and I'm going to use some color saturation. Maybe depends on what it does to this. Okay, cool. Bring it back a little bit so we can have a little of the natural color. Right? Try to keep it as natural as possible. And I would say color contrast, but we'll we'll see what it does. Okay. All right. The only time I will use color contrast is if if it's defining uh, an object that I do see. And here we do see somewhat of a shadow here. But again, I don't think there's no I don't think anyone's there. I mean, this is the footage with the manager in it. And we know that he went straight to the freezer. All right. And um, and then the officers came in after he left the officers came in and uh the whole time the, the camera was rolling all right um then again actually i think the 10 second rule did uh apply to that footage as well because i think uh, that's the reason why they had to do a second um a second video with him coming in with the officers all right so um Let's get back to this. So the shadow here, I mean, is, is, it just looks like a shadow. We don't know where that shadow was coming from. It could be coming from, um, let's see. It could be coming from um, any of the objects across from the freezer. I'm gonna pull up uh, some of the photos that the officers took of the objects across from the freezer as well okay not that one not that one there's a little of it over here but we have them um, with greater detail in it Okay. 
So that shadow could be coming from over here, right? It could be coming from any of these objects over here, right? Okay. So also what I'm going to do is give you a side by side so you can see the before and after. So, I mean, we see a shadow. We don't know where that shadow is coming from. And again, we also are working with pixels. All right. We are working with pixels. And pixels are little blocks in your photos. And because this is a snapshot, we won't see pixels moving. But we did snap the pixels along with it. Um, and you see, you, you see the pixels a lot clearer because the picture itself is expanded so you see the pixels a lot more than you would with the uh a small a smaller picture uh from its original size that i that i um took it from so um let me see what else can i put on there to see if we can find anything i can put some bite light on it Okay. Y'all see anything? Again, this is the the uh still photo from the video with the manager in it. And so um I think that would be enough. And what I'm what I want to do is I want to take a snapshot of this also. All right. take a quick snapshot of this before and after and we're going to call this we're going to run the words together so we're going to call this freezer shadow manager uh, analysis all right. And that's the before and after. Now, let's get to Kanika's footage. So what I did was I exit out the program and I'm gonna bring the program back so we can get to Kanika's footage. We're going to go to Freezer Shadow 33304 first. Now I want y'all to remember the difference we saw in the shadow when the, the, the manager walked to the freezer and the shadow when Kanika, you know, disappeared behind the wall and then we seen a shadow. And everybody say that's Kanika. Even I said that's Kanika. Then the, the the camera cut off because of the 10 second ruling, right? So remember this. Put it side by side on this one. And we're going to do, we're going to apply the same thing that we applied to the other uh, still footage, still photo. We'll do some sharpening. Right. Then we're going to do some video contrast. Okay. 
then we'll do some color saturation back so bring it in just a little bit again I would go in a little more if I, I'm starting to see something I would go in a little more so I can get some some uh, depth or detail in what I'm looking at Now what I would do, I would bring this back and I will put some color contrast in it. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put some color co uh, contrast. I'm not going to keep it like this. I want to put it in here for a reason. Do y'all see how the outline of this um, this frame is very choppy, right? It's choppy because those are the pixels. Those little blocks are pixels, right? So it's going to be choppy like that. But they're sharp, right? They're sharp. Those blocks are sharp. Along the edge of this wall, it's sharp. It's choppy. It's sharp. The pixels are sharp. Along the corner of this freezer, the pixels are sharp until it gets here and it is blurred. Then it gets here and it gets back choppy again. Y'all see that? So the pixels, pixels does not do this. Okay. In fact, you can see that there is pixels and it's blending out. Right. It blends out. And then it blends back in. That's not how pixels work. That is a um, an edit done by a human being. That is an edit done by a human being. That blur. All right. Why did they blur that? What were they hiding? And I can tell you. Um, a lot of things like this here. A lot of people were saying somebody took a line, right? Somebody took something uh, like, uh, you know, just drew a dark line along this wall right here, right? Well, that's the person editing the video, but they're not editing as far as drawing this line right here. What they're doing is they're using one of the tools in their um forensic program they're using one of the tools to put contrast on the objects so that right there lets me know that a human has done some work on this video just by looking at the darkness of the contrast that lets me know that a human has done some work on the video but this further lets me know right here and the proof is in the pudding over here it's blurred the pixels are blurred so that's another human edit this right here has nothing to do this this blur has nothing to do with forensics that blur is an edit like you would put something in photoshop and start drawing on shit that's an edit you understand what were they hiding all right now what I want to do is I want to compare and I know y'all see this object in here already I haven't expounded on it yet because I want y'all to I know y'all getting a good look at that and I know some of y'all are saying whoa wait a minute what is that right and I can guarantee you that is not Kaneko I can guarantee you that's not Kaneko just look at it I'm not going to tell you what what it is I'm not going to tell you what I'm seeing. 
I'm not going to tell you anything about um uh, uh the body parts that I'm seeing. I'm not going to tell you that. I want you to let this sink in just for a second, right? And I'm going to get it off this contrast. I'm going to get it off. But I just want y'all to see that just for a second. Y'all still going to see it when, once I take the contrast off. But in the meantime, what I want to do is I want to compare what we just did with the uh, still footage of the, the, uh, the, the, the video with the managing. I want y'all to compare that. So you see the footage um, from the, the still photo from the footage with Kanika in it, and you see this uh, the still photo from the footage on the right that had the manager in it. You see the you see a total difference, and we used the same tools, right? We used the same tools. The only difference is I have a heavy contrast, and I'm going to take it off right now. I'm going to take off the heavy contrast. I'm going to cut it completely off. The color contrast. Alright. And we're going to bring that back. See the difference? when there's nobody bite there versus somebody bite there do you see that difference now what i also want to do and i didn't think of this until now i want to wow i want to take a still photo from this freezer, from the, uh, the the footage with Kanika in it before she went back there, before she went back there, and I want to know if this will still be there, in which we may not see anything because they can easily be standing right by that wall, you know, by that office. Let me show you here. They could be easily standing by that, that office wall right behind it. Right? They could be standing right here. And we won't see the reflection on the um on the freezer. They could have been standing right here. Right here. And we would not see the reflection on the freezer. Which, I mean, that makes sense anyway, because she was grabbed as soon as she came around this corner. You see what I'm saying? As soon as she came around this corner, they could have just, boom, took one step over and grabbed her real quick and started pulling on her like, let's go. And since we don't have any audio, well, we ain't going to discuss that. But anyway, see what I mean? So they could be standing here and we will, that's, on this side, if you follow my cursor, that's on the other side of this wall. That's on, you know, that's going back that way. So we wouldn't see a reflection right now. So it wouldn't make sense for me to even try to do a still photo on it, right? So anyway, it was worth the idea. Now, let's go to, and I want to do one more thing. I want to add bite light. All right. Now I can't lie. I'm seeing color of skin right here. All right. That's just me. Now another thing. This is clearly a reflection. Hands down. This is clearly a reflection. But my thing is Kanika, let me just show you. Kanika had her jacket open. All right. 
Her jacket was open. Kanika's jacket was open. Oh, baby. Y'all see skin. That that's her jacket was open. And fight, let me um let me see. Put a magnifier on that. See what I mean? That straight skin in the middle. Skin here in the face. Skin here. Skin in the hands. That skin. We know it was open. I just want to clarify that. Right? So, let me exit out of this. Minimize that. We don't see the same coloration here. Here. Why? Because that's not Kanika. You can see it here. In fact, you can see it clearer here now that I've done some work over here. You can see it just as clear here. You don't see skin in the middle. If her jack was wide open, when did she button it up? She didn't. She never buttoned it up. It was still open. It was open when she was in the freezer. Come on, let me don't let me make me pull that 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 up too. See that? Her jacket was open in the freezer. So, and I'm not going to show the other footage. I mean, we're not going to get that in depth, but we already seen all the footage. I just want to remind you, it was opened in the freezer, right? What happened here? We see skin here. There's no skin in the middle. Because that's not Kanika. But this is just 33304. We haven't even did 33305 yet, so let's get to 33305. And we're going to close out on this again. Let's get it 33305. up and do a side by side as well we're going to get us a put some sharpen in it just a little bit try to keep it as natural as possible
bring it out just a little more. See if I can make a difference. Nope, that's what it is. Yep, that's what it is. So we're going to bring it back in. All right. And we will do a video contrast. Bring it out just a little more. I might not need much of it here because here is when they got closer at 3.33.05 is when they got closer and the video cut off it's when the shadow got closer and the video cut off well here's the shadow here where's the reflection it was blurred out we already know that from 3.33.04 it was blurred out right I don't want to really say this, but I, I think, I think Kanika was here, and somebody was behind her. I look, we're just gonna keep it from what we see it right now. From what we see right now is that there's a heavy shadow here that appeared on the on the freezer right before the footage cut off. There's blur here as well, but they didn't think we'd get the reflection behind the shadow. Whatever or whoever was creating this shadow or causing this shadow, they didn't think we'd get the reflection of whoever was behind whatever that was or whoever that was. They didn't think we'd get the reflection behind that. Let's finish here. Let's get some color uh, contrast. All right. And once again, I'd only add more to it if it's enhancing detail to the object that I'm seeing. And here it is not as well. All right, so we're going to leave it at that and um, try some color saturation. Bring it out just a little bit. Bring it out a tad more. And it's a little more. I want to stay close to its original uh, coloration or its original hue as possible. And um, add a little bite light like we did all the others. And there you have it. That's at uh, 3.33.05. And once again, the apparel on this person is closed. The apparel on this person is closed. Kanika came in with that jacket open. She came in the hotel. In the hotel. She got out of the car, walked through the parking lot, came in the hotel with her jacket open. She got in the elevator with her jacket open on the way up to the room. Then the next thing we know, we seen her walking the halls, drugged, 
and intoxicated. Because we know she had to, uh, to power mate in her blood system. So that's drugged. And she was intoxicated. And even then, she also had her jacket open walking the halls in that condition. She was found in the freezer with a jacket open. This person does not have their jacket open. This person, I, I can't even call it a jacket. I don't know what they're wearing. But we do know that the apparel here is closed in because we do not see skin coloration or the same hue in the face as you would see in the rest of the skin area. There's nothing here. It's just apparel. Now, did they have on something blue? What I will do is I will do further analysis on this. I will do further forensics on this because I want to get the identification of this person and I'm not talking about the face. We know we won't see this person's uh, detail and face, but we can at least try to find the color of or what what they had on, what top they had on. It looks blue to me. It could be gray. with a blue hue from the reflection. But I will try to do further uh, analysis on this and further forensics on this and try to at least find the correct color of the apparel on this person. And when we do, You better hope they've hid you so well in all of the other footage. Because when we find your ass and we expose this shit, the whole fucking world is coming down on you. I know you're going to cross your fingers and hope that we don't get to that point. But I'd be damned if I'm not trying hard to get to that point. From this point to the next level to actually identifying you, you better hope we don't. And I know you're crossing your fingers until then. But when we do, just know the whole world is coming down on you. And I don't mean that in a metaphorical sense. I mean that literally because you know the whole world is on this case. I'm hoping that you got more sense than that 